Hello, welcome back to my channel, Qubit Educational Services. In this video, we are going to solve the 39th question from the ISR aptitude test model paper 2. This question is based on inequalities and LPP. Let's read the question first. Consider the inequalities x plus y less than 3, x minus y less than 5, 5x minus 3y less than 15, and 2x plus y greater than 2. The region in the plane that consists of points satisfying all of these inequalities is empty, uh, rectangular, triangular, and square. Now, clearly, this can't be rectangular or square. Okay, why can it not be rectangular? Because you do not have uh, any pair of lines which is parallel to each other. Okay, so it's, it, def it definitely cannot be rectangular and therefore it definitely can also not be a square. Okay, because if we were to talk about the lines, okay, which originate rather, which are responsible for the division of the plane, none of these lines have same slope, right? X plus Y equal to 3 has slope minus 1, this has slope 1, this has slope uh, 5 by 3 and this has slope minus 2. Okay, so no question about these lines being uh, parallel to each other or perpendicular. So options B and D are ruled out. So either it is an empty set or well, a triangular set. Okay, now you can actually try and, and pick, pick, pick a point, okay, which satisfies all of them, all, all four uh, inequalities and say that it is a triangular region because even if one of, even if there exists a single point whose coordinates satisfy all four inequalities, it would mean that it is not an empty set and hence it is a triangular uh, region okay but if you don't want to waste your time in in, in the trial and error method then of course you can uh, do do this problem in the usual and that is what we are going to do now okay these are the four lines x plus y equal to 3 uh, 2x plus y equal to 2 this one x minus y uh, equal to 5 and 5x minus 3y equal to 50 okay and uh, i've deliberately used different colors so that the distinction becomes clear okay Standard process of uh, plotting the plotting the lines x plus y equal to 3 check the points where this line intersects the x and y axis clearly the points will be 3 0 and 0 3 so this is the point 3 0 and this is the point 0 3 okay so this line is done and clearly because it is less than 3 it is a, it is the origin set okay so I've indicated that by this uh, small blue uh, small red arrow here okay so this is L1 and this is L1. Okay, let's go to L2 now, which is 2x plus y equal to 2. Very easy to locate where this line meets the coordinate axis. Okay, 1, 0 and 0, 2. Okay, so 1, 0 is this point and 0, 2 is this point. And for this, it is the non-origin side because it is 2x plus y greater than 2. Okay, I mean, if you substitute coordinates of origin, they'll give you 0. So that is the non-origin side and you can see that by this red arrow here. Okay. Now we'll talk about the other two constraints. So this is L2 and L2 is the green line. Okay, let's go to L3, x minus y equal to five. So this is very clear now, uh, five zero and zero comma minus five. Okay, five zero is here and zero comma minus five is there. So that is L3 and uh, x minus y less than five. So clearly origin side. Okay, so this is L3 and the origin side is indicated by this small uh, red arrow on the on, on the line L3. Okay, the last one is the black line 5x minus 3y equal to 15. Again, not a very difficult line to plot. Okay, x, uh, the intersection with the x-axis will be uh, 3 comma 0, intersection with the y-axis will be 0 comma minus 5. So again, the same point 0 comma minus 5, but this time 0 comma 3 is this point. Okay, it also happens to be the intersection of that line with L1. Okay, so this is L4. Now, check whether origin side or non-origin side. Substitute the coordinates less than 15, 0 minus 0, so clearly origin side, okay? So these four arrows indicate that the region uh, the region in the plane that consists of points satisfying these inequalities is a triangular region, okay? And which triangular region will it be? It will be this one. Okay, so it is not an empty set, definitely it is a triangular region. And now when the diagram is in front of you, you can say that the point 2 comma 0 here satisfies all four constraints, okay? 2 plus 0 is less than 3, uh, then 2 minus 0 is less than 5, 5 into 2 minus 3 into 0 is less than 15, and 2 into 2 plus 0 is, is greater than 2. 
so definitely the it's not empty because the point 2 comma 0 falls in, in the region okay now what i'm saying is if you if you pick the point 2 comma 0 as your first guess to check whether it satisfies all four inequalities you are done will hardly take two minutes or not even two minutes half a minute to solve the problem okay but uh, the standard way is you will plot the will plot the regions and and just just identify the common region and th that will tell you the shape of the the region okay one more peculiar thing about this problem is that usually in lpp when the constraints are given <clears throat> they also include the equal to sign okay so it is x plus y less than or equal to 2x plus y greater than or equal to and which makes the LPP solvable in the sense that whenever the lines intersect at the point of intersection, if if it happens to be the one of the vertices of the feasible region, we we, we only check for the z value there. Okay? Yes. So when we when we read this problem, we realized that none of the lines are parallel to each other. So clearly rectangular and square were not the options. But uh, if we want to play with the trial and error method, of course, eventually we'll we'll reach a stage where it is it is no longer an empty set. But I think a more a safer option would be to plot the the lines and just uh, get the uh, get the regions right. Okay, all right. So this was question number thirty nine, whose option is C, that it is a triangular region. In the next video, we will solve question number forty.